Hey everyone, welcome back. Sorry I'm laughing, I was just like trying to do this and I had to stop and restart again because I was interrupted. But anyway, um, thank you so much for coming and watching. As you can see from the title down below, this is my July favorites. I cannot believe it's already July of 2017. This year is flying by. Okay, so I'm not gonna be long. I'm gonna zip through these as quickly as I can. First two products I want to talk about is moisturization for my face. I have done videos on my YouTube talking about how important it is for your base of your makeup. Um, I have the Zyasia Goat's Milk Moisturizing Day Cream and the... It's not Zyasia. I'm still going to call it that. I know it's not. Zaya. There we go. The Zaya Goat's Milk Moisturizing Day Cream and the Zaya Marine Algae um, Deep Moisturizing Cream. I absolutely love these two for my day cream. I'll put these on just before I do my makeup, let it set in, and then apply my makeup. Um, absolute favorite moisturizers so far. The marine one is new to my collection, whereas the goat's milk one, I absolutely adore and never wanna run out of. So I gotta find myself a backup because I absolutely love it. Zaya, love Zaya products, I seriously do. Um, and then for my favorite primer is the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. I've been reaching for this primer a lot recently. I just like how um, it's also giving me that little extra moisturization and um, it's just my foundation seems to be, it seems to be working on my face and working with my foundations. So I have been loving it. Did you like my accent there? Wolving. <laughs> I've been loving it. It's gorge. And then I have two foundations that I'm absolutely loving. One I'm wearing today, which is the Rimmel, ow, Rimmel Match Perfection uh, foundation. I have this one in the ivory. I'm wearing it right now because it is a tiny bit dark for me, but it's working perfectly today because I have a, a tan that's just building on in color. Um, I'm trying a new tan. I'll let you guys know what I think of it. It's a tan from Avon that I'm trying. Um, first impression, not liking how my skin feels with it on. Like, it's getting a little bit better, but it's still not great. It's a little sticky. But anyway, I will do a video on this tan. If it, yeah, if I remember, I have to remember. Um, then I have the, also follow me on Snapchat or Facebook. Um, or Instagram because I'll probably talk about the tan on there as well. I talk about lots of things on those platforms. The Rimmel Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Foundation. Again, I have it in the color ivory. Um, I love this foundation so much. It really wakens up my skin and makes me feel fresh. And I like to use this on days where I'm wearing very little makeup. I just feel it works and like, oh, I just, I love this. I had a sample and I went and bought the full size. I loved it that much. Uh, a lip product, the one I'm actually wearing right now is leaving a kind of yucky taste in my mouth. The lip product that I'm wearing in this video is Berry Cute from Mark or Avon. It's the line Mark in Avon catalogs. It's, it's nice, it's, I just, I don't know. It just looks like this in the bullet. I, I'm getting a really terrible taste in my mouth because of it. Oof. And then I have the Nivea Hydro Care in SPF 15. It just looks like this. Um, I love this. It has the SPF 15 in it, so it's really good for the summertime. I use this morning and night. It's the Hydro Care one. I get these from like deals for like a pound or something like that. So I like it from there. Then on to my brows. I'm going to quickly talk about these two products. This is the Freedom Eyebrow Pomade. I talk about this so much. This is the color Ash Brown. I absolutely love this. I haven't just been using it in, Ju in July. I've been using it ever since I've got it. I hardly use anything else for my brows now, so I absolutely love it. And the brush to go with it is the blank canvas. It's starting to rub off already. The E06, I had to put tape around this so I don't ever lose what brush this is. The E06, so I can tell you guys. They have a lot of brushes, so it's hard to remember the things, but it's got a gorgeous small, um, applicator thing and then a spoolie on the end which is double great I love these two together absolutely don't use anything else like pretty much nothing else and then for my eyes ah I feel like I'm getting bit by something on my back sorry uh wet and wild creme brulee single eyeshadow I use this every time I pretty much do my eyeshadow um I basically put my eyelid primer on and then I put this over top to set it so it's a gorgeous matte 
um, not white, it's like an off-white, like a cream color. I just love it. It brightens my eyes up so the eyeshadows pop just that little bit more and the shadows just then blend. This is from Mark, which is also on Avon. And it's the Forever Bronze um, Cream Eyeshadow. It looks like this. The packaging is quite nice. I'm wearing this on my eyelids today. Um, I love this bronze color. It's absolutely stunning and it does not budge. Once you put it on, it's going to stay all day. Um, so I primed my eyes, put that um, Wet n Wild shadow over and then I put this on top and I absolutely love the way it looks. I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, the colors in the crease are from a palette I will be talking about in just a minute. I'll just talk about it now, actually. The Flawless 3 palette, absolutely love this palette. If you haven't tried it, please do because it's absolutely stunning. The colors in it are gorgeous. I can't stop using it. It's got gorgeous. If you're into like burnt oranges and like burgundy reddish kind of colors, like these four colors are basically the reason why I bought the palette. Let's be real, I am absolutely in love with these four colors so much. I love a good burnt orange, burgundy, in my crease. I'm just absolutely in love with those kind of shades and look at the packaging. It's absolutely stunning. Fingerprints everywhere but oh, I just I love it and that lots of the um, light shades, the shimmery kind of shades are beautiful to put on the eyelid and it just oh, I just I really really like this palette. How much is it? Like eight pounds I got it for so like 10 euro, 10, 11 euro. Great deal, love it. Um, back to the eyes for just a second. Um, the last two products I wanna talk about for my eyes are the two mascaras I have been using a lot of is the Essence Lash Princess, the green one. Absolutely love this. It's not what I'm wearing today. I'm just trying to use up a sample of something. And then the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Waterproof. My sister-in-law actually gave this to me from Canada. She sent it with my mom when my mom came. And I love it for my lower lashes. I don't use this on my upper lashes because it is waterproof. It's a little harder on the lashes to get off and I don't like to rub my lashes too much. Um, and then there I found it was kind of wrecking my top lashes so I use it just for my bottom lashes and then I don't get really any smudging with it because it is waterproof so that's always good so that's those two products there um, and then on to the face I have a good few products to talk about my favorite highlight is one I'm actually wearing right now that I've been wearing a few times um, it's almost a tad too dark for me I don't know if you can see it in this light. It's just beaming right up my face. Um, in person, it's like a peachy gold color. It's this one by Wet n Wild. It's their highlight, highlighting, mega glow highlighting powder um, in precious petals. So this came to Ireland not that long ago, so I had to pick it up. It's absolutely stunning, gorgeous color. Love it. I can't remember how much it was. I think I got it for like four euro or something like that. Somewhere around that. Another Wet n Wild product. Wet n Wild's been killing it for me right recently. Is the Rose Champagne Color Icon Blush. This is the one I'm wearing actually today. I absolutely love this blush. Stunning. I wish they would um, forget about the brush included and then just make it that little bit smaller because a little square like that, that would be just that little bit easier to travel with and you just wouldn't have that little bit of bulky in the way product. Then the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer with SPF 15, which is crazy that it has SPF 15 in it. This is the Bikini Contest. It is the bronzer I have on my face today just to warm my skin up a little bit because I have I am self tanning at the moment and as it's developing, I didn't want to be too pale. So I have used that a few times this month. It's just the one I kind of reach for for a bronzer um, for the last two months really. Um, then the Ultra Contour Palette from Makeup Revolution is absolutely something I've been reaching for since for July. I stopped using it for a little while and then I got back into using it because I was using the Wet n Wild um, Dolce Leche or whatever bronzer slash under eye setting powder set but I've been reaching for this again I love this and I've been using this highlighter a few times I absolutely just love this palette I think it's definitely a must those are my favorites guys I hope I got through that very quickly for you thank you so much for watching this is about to shut off ah! 
please don't forget to thumbs up this video and also subscribe to see more of my videos. And also if you want, there is a notification bell to notify you because I know some of my subscribers haven't been getting my videos when I do post them. So please, uh, it will help you out if you do hit that little bell, uh, the notification to so that it will send you messages when I upload. I'm trying to upload every Monday and Thursday. If not, it'll be just Monday or just Thursday, but I am trying once to twice a week. So it'll either be Monday or Thursday that I will put a video up. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.